appreciate all the feedback from all of you. We spent some time looking at all of it, ingesting, thinking. We will do better. Thank you for your patience. And we hope to Holy patience shit, together. man. Thanks for your patience. We will do better. I'm going to grow from this. Blah, blah, blah. The only sincere part about this is when he says stupid because he's referring to himself that I'm so stupid I got caught. I'm fucking stupid. Why did I say that on the live stream? I'm fucking stupid. Did you guys see all this crap, dude, about artisan builds? React time! We are reacting now. So for those of you that don't know, there's this company or Twitch channel or something, and I guess they build PCs for people. They like sponsor people. Everyone in the affiliate ambassador program is eligible to get free stuff and earn money from referrals. So I would imagine you like sign up for their program, affiliate program or whatever, and you have to put like a panel or something or maybe like a chat overlay and they will like give you free shit. So basically they're giving you free stuff because you're promoting their shit. Okay, now this is the most important part. It costs nothing to join. Keep this in mind. So that means anybody can sign up for that shit. Me, you, anybody, doesn't matter. You can always go and chat with me live on Twitch. I've talked for a long time about being transparent about everything. It's live after all. Recently, they were giving out one of their PCs to an ambassador, but this ambassador was like a smaller streamer and they said some pretty fucking... <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Jesus Christ. So they said some pretty dumb shit. We'll watch the clip in a second, but I just want to point something out here. Whenever a company says something like this, it costs nothing to join, you know, or whatever, they don't care about you, okay? They only care about them, like expanding their brand. That's all they care about. What happened was when this person won this giveaway, their channel wasn't very big and they decided to shit on this person for not having a big channel and they didn't give them the PC. We'll go back and like read their apology and shit because they did apologize. But basically they didn't want to give this person, the person that won the shit because their channel was small. If that was intended, then they should have said it. They should have said it costs nothing to join. And then after this sentence, they should have said there is a minimum requirement to win the PC. That's what they should have said. It doesn't take away from the fact that this person has no fucking business shitting on another person's channel. Okay, so it costs nothing to join and everyone in the affiliate ambassador program is eligible to get awesome free stuff. This has nothing to do with analytics. Nothing. Because everyone can join and it costs nothing to join, okay? So keep this in mind. Okay, let's watch this shit. I didn't even read the name. 2K followers is under my threshold. Three okay. days ago is within my threshold. Long stream. Okay, so 2K followers. I guess this person only had 2,000 followers. If that's the problem, it should have been stated up front. Like, if a company doesn't want to give a smaller streamer something, that's fine, in my opinion. I, I think it's fine, as long as they state Look, we're going to give this shit away, but there's minimum analytics. Now, obviously, if I was in this person's situation, I'd just give it away to fucking whoever, dude. This is supposed to help smaller streamers, so I don't know why they're promoting helping smaller streamers and then not giving a smaller streamer. Like, ev like, everyone is a small streamer when you first start out. I was, Asmin was, fucking everybody was. You know what I mean? Sorry, I won't pause it anymore. I didn't even read the name. 2K followers is under my threshold. Three days ago is within my threshold. Long streams, which is good. I just, dude, I'm sorry. Like how he words the shit within my threshold. Mine, mine, okay? That's so fucking cringe, dude. An artesian builds diff panel. Artesian. See if you have redeeming, redeeming qualities. Dude, redeeming, redeeming qualities. Oh my god. Oh, so after like shitting on this person's viewer count, then they're like, okay, let's see if you have any redeeming qualities. Like, let's see if maybe your sub count's high. Let's see if maybe your, you know, your Instagram is, is high, you know? He's personally bought 10 PCs. She. She. I, I, like I said, Could I, be international. No, no idea who you're looking I, I Obviously. I'm over here. No, no, not international. America. Whew, cheap shipping. No, it just means they don't have to pay for shipping. Thank goodness. Hmm. <laughs> Got from Australia. Active nice. media. So Australians will potentially have to pay like duties, for example. I think it's worth it. I wish I could see the Twitch chat on this stream. 
See what people were saying. There's the first one. This is the person that won. I guess they had like maybe 500 followers, but now they have 17,500. So good for them. <laughs> so good for them, dude. Hear this man's voice. He's belittling me. It's slander and defamation on my stream and me as a person. I won that PC fair and square. I don't know how she won. I guess they just draw it. I guess it's like a raffle or something. The rules say that you need an artesian panel in your Twitch. Okay, okay. And I do have it. So what's the issue? So anyway, here's the second one. He will do it. All followers combined still under 5k, even across multiple socials. I was trying to be generous. It doesn't matter if they have zero followers. That's not what you initially said, motherfucker. <laughs> Like, it doesn't matter if they have one or a hundred thousand. You know what I mean? Mm, that's a tough one. Because there's bound to be repeats if you're doing both. I know. That's also true. It's like this mentality. Less this is what this guy's thinking. I don't want to waste this PC on someone that no one cares about. That's his mentality. I don't want to waste giving this PC that costs money to someone that is small. I've never even heard of these motherfuckers until like a week ago. Let's go into the analytics dashboard. Okay. Spicy. And you will do it. Dude. Dude. Oh, dude, All dude. followers combined still under 5k, even across multiple socials. I was trying to be generous. Mm, that's a tough one. Because there's bound to be repeats if you're doing both. Of I know. That's also true. Let's go into the analytics dashboard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's the third one. These babies. Oh, and there's the re-roll. Here's the reason, chatter babies. Here's the reason. This person has three months of ambassadorship and not a single click. Ooh, not, not a single click. Not a single click. Not even once. A little rough. So it sounds Purged. Now they're re-rolling. Sheesh! Everyone in the affiliate ambassador program is eligible to get awesome free stuff. Why would you say everyone? Because it's not everyone. If you have a metric that you're going by, you need to tell people that there's a fucking metric. Like, I don't know why you would say everyone in the affiliate and then it costs nothing to join and then have a metric. Like, what? Like, you did this to yourself. This person's ego is just out of this fucking world, man. Out of this fucking world. This is ridiculous. Like, I remember when I only had, like, fucking 10 viewers. Look at this shit, dude. This is... Look, I don't even have a camera. I don't even have ACT. Because I don't know how to set any of this crap up. This was a long time ago. I had like one viewer. Fuck off, dude. You know, I still remember the very first person that watched my stream. Their name was um, Natsu Dragon Slayer. <laughs> Natsu Dragon Slayer. I'm friends with him on Facebook. So sorry, I'm just not sure I understand. I put a banner advertising your website beneath my Twitch channel, but I, but I don't get paid anything unless someone follows the link and buys a computer from you. That doesn't really sound like a good deal for me since thousands of people will be seeing your brand name via my socials and I won't be paid anything for the advertisement space I'll be providing your company with. Is that right? Most companies pay for the advertising space. Yeah, that's true. And then pay more on top of that. Thank you for getting back to us. Considering the size of your stream being one tenth of the size of our minimum sponsorships, we're simply far too apart to consider providing a 2000 plus PC. This company, they're trying to make it appeal to everyone when they have metrics that they want to hit. Like they're very cocky. They're very egotistical. They don't want to help. They're preying on smaller streams streamers just for free ad space and they're like dangling this carrot in front of them you know what i mean apparently they also don't pay their taxes oh this is the video yeah yeah yeah. so this is the video you judge them by how many followers they get a stream which they don't control you know how hard it is for small channels to get new followers per week or a month it is very hard the streaming and content creator business and industry is one of those ones it's a trap because you know it's one of those that it's a hard pill to swallow everyone can do it but everyone shouldn't do it yes that's right everyone Everyone is capable of being a content creator, but everyone should not 
be a content creator. And that's a hard pill for to swallow for some people. Some people think that this shit, you just hit the stream button, you know, it just rains money and all this shit. And I can tell you from working many, many jobs, I'm 36, I'm gonna be 37 in May. Streaming is by far, not even close, by far the hardest I've ever had to work in my entire life, by far. It's not even close, it's not even close. It's very hard to get started in this industry. That's what I'm trying to say. Yes, I agree with this. The, the problem is not the giveaway. It's not, as a company, we have metrics that you have to hit to win the computer or whatever it is that you're giving away. The problem is how you treated your ambassadors while live on stream, and it's also because of the way that they worded all this shit, right? Like, everybody can join, everybody's a, you know, everybody is eligible. The eligibility part, <laughs> that part is obviously a lie. You know what? Let's look them up. Let's sully gnome them. <laughs> I like dog, dude. They lost almost 3K followers on Wednesday. All right, so this is the past seven days. In the past seven days, they've lost more followers than they've gained. Okay, so let's go the 30 days. Let's go for 30 days. Even on days where they gained some, it's only like 65, 24, a bunch of minuses, zero, zero, 23. I guess they only stream or something like once a month or, or something. I don't fucking know. So I guess here's their apology. During last evening's live stream, I made a statement that is affected and hurt Kia. I think that's you say that I don't want to mispronounce it but but here's the thing I made a statement fucking yo you made like nine statements dog what the fuck <laughs> what the fuck what statement are you talking about read it in uwu doing Wes Weemning's wife's dream I made a statement. Man, no, this is serious. I made a statement that is affected and hurt Kia. I take full accountability and sincerely <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is going to be uh we as a company our views are we're not like that blah blah blah. Let's see. Hold on. What else is the copy paste response? Going forward, we will not do that ever again. Yeah, sincerely apologize for how my statement is hurt Kia and as a as a viewer and participant in supporting Artesian. How, dude, I can't even fucking pronounce this. Dude, yo, I'm in a due to updated giveaway guidelines which were not in alignment for this giveaway. Okay? I made the wrong decision to not provide the giveaway prize to the rightful owner Kia. This action does not reflect the value. Of course, it doesn't reflect the value. Isn't this guy the CEO or some shit? Yeah, he's a CEO. What do you mean this doesn't reflect? You're you're the head guy. The statements I made regarding the updated giveaways guidelines were made under the wrong circumstance and were in no way appropriate. I mean, they had metrics and they just didn't tell those metrics to people until it was on the live stream. We would like to be able to provide new guidelines in the future that will allow everyone to participate in all and... <laughs> We would like to be able to provide new guidelines in the future that will allow it. Dude, no one's going to believe you, dude. No one's going to believe you. The statement made regarding our viewers does not align with the values. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't align. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just got caught. You just got caught. That's all it was. At Artesian, we take great pride in giving our 100% every day to provide a friendly and fun service to all viewers and customers. But in this instance, I have failed not only our viewers, customers, customers and ambassador, but also my team and the values of our brand. See, here's the thing though. Like they say that we take great pride in giving hundred percent every day. A person that talks like that, a person that just casually talks like that and talks down to people like that, that's, that's just who that person is. They just got caught. Like that's it. That's who you are as a person. You just got caught. No, this is just straight bullshit. Like, well, no shit you failed, not only our viewers. This should be, at Artesian, we take great pride in feeding you bullshit 100% every day to provide a friendly and fun service to all viewers and customers. But in this instance, I have failed myself because I got caught, but also my team because now they're on this fucking ship and it's sinking with their captain. That's how that fucking paragraph should have read. During this time, I will commit my full attention to create a new guideline that will reflect Reflect Artesian builds value to fully support all our viewers and customers to allow each person the platform to create and grow. Thank you all for your ongoing support and continuation to provide me with personal feedback and grow. Jesus Christ. To Kia as well as any other streamers of any size that were impacted by my lack of sensitivity, I sincerely apologize for hurting you in the process. Dude, you're not fucking sorry, dude. You're not this. You're not sorry because of what you did. You're sorry because you got caught. To all the ambassadors thank you for your ongoing support this brand would not be here without your support and all these years i truly apologize for the hurt that this has caused you okay just to clarify they emailed me offering a pc i denied it <laughs> okay
I am not supporting a company that doesn't support small streamers, aka the backbone of their company. My email back to them was a simple two cents reply. No, thank you. Take me off your ambassador list. Yeah, like I wouldn't have took that shit either, man. Fuck that. Well, let's watch the apology. Oh, fucking dude. Just look at the... Oh, man. Yo, here's Todd, dude. He's... Oh, holy shit. He's going in hot. No sincerity at all. I think I'll just re-roll to some other PC building company. Thanks for making my decision easier. Damn! Damn! All right, so let's watch the video. Last night on our platform on Twitch, a platform that many amazing creators helped me to create in no small part, I glossed over a few amazing creators in a PC giveaway, and I absolutely should not have done that. And I did it in a sh stupid way. A really stupid way. I'm extremely sorry about that. Kia, Strawberry, Protease, and any others who are hurt by this. I would not intend that for you, ever. So, so sorry. That's not how anyone should be treated. We have a platform capable of building people up. And we're going to use that platform going forward to do an even better job of building people up and never tearing them down. It will not happen again. So going forward, any ambassador is eligible to win the PCs. Any ambassador at all. This is really bad acting. Right back to the rules that we had in place before. And we're going to do everything that we can to do an even better job of helping creators to create and helping the community that we built to be a more inclusive and, and valuable place to be. I don't really do videos like this a lot, and I don't really know what to say. But I'm you don't know what to say I'm because you're not sorry, dude. <laughs> stupid. Super, super stupid. You're right, it was stupid. I'm an influencer. I think this video is sincere. I think it's sincere in the sense that he keeps repeating the word stupid. We'll just watch the whole thing. It's almost over. But I'm also an executive. And those boundaries can get blurred. Wait, wait, wait. What what boundaries can get blurred? Super, super stupid. And I won't do it again. I'm an influencer. <laughs> but I'm also an executive. And those boundaries can get blurred. I know what to do. I appreciate all the feedback from all of you. We spent some time looking at all of it, ingesting, thinking. We will do better. Thank you for your patience. And we hope to Holy shit, man. Thanks for your patience. We will do better. I'm going to grow from this, blah, blah, blah. The only sincere part about this is when he says stupid because he's referring to himself that I'm so stupid I got caught. I'm fucking stupid. Why did I say that on the live stream? I'm fucking stupid. Like that's what he meant when he said stupid. He wasn't saying that what he said was stupid. That's just how he talks. That's just how he thinks. Shit like that doesn't come off casually unless that's just who you are as a person. Your fucking video should have just been like, like, hey, my bad, we should have put our metrics, you know, I'm stupid for saying it. I'm mad at myself because I said it on live stream. That's obviously not appropriate. And uh, going forward, because we don't want any bad PR, we're going to have everybody be acceptable. Thanks, and we're sorry for this. I'm sorry I got caught. If they would have said like that, people would have been like, damn, you know, I kind of believe the things he's saying. But uh, dude, this dude, this like video is so cringe, dude. It's like you have a low voice. You're feeling bad about yourself. You're trying to come off like, dude, fuck off, dude. This is just, this is so bad. I'm sorry, but you don't have enough followers for this apology to be valid. <laughs> okay, all right. Mods in your chat were asking, well, what are the requirements to win? Because we only knew about the panels. If you had stipulations from the beginning, that's one thing. See, that's exactly what I said. If they set the metric from the start, but they didn't. They were trying to debate people and use people. You and your mods who openly took amusement by shouting, oof, and re-roll. Oh my God, dude. See, that's why I said I wanted to see the Twitch chat. I wanted to see if there was an echo chamber. You know, what the chat was saying. You, sir are a fucking disgrace to the goddamn Canada. Get out of here, you sir. Oh, dude, let's go, dude. <laughs> oh, sh oh my God. Josh is going in. Holy shit, you build people up, providing these people have value to your business. Oh my God. Let's watch this video. There's the reroll. Douchey douche. 
So in the midst of, of our little live stream here, while we've been messing around talking to chat, uh, it appears that there has been a new development with our boy Noah uh, hanging out in ye old uh, San Francisco with his $150,000 supercar and his, his smug face and his stupid jacket. Um... <laughs> So to catch everybody up, in case you haven't seen the last video, Noah did- Is this guy like out for him, dude? The giveaway for a streamer named Kia Pia, among some other streamers, some smaller streamers that were affiliated with Artesian. The rule was you had to have a banner ad located underneath your stream. And as long as you had that banner ad, you can enter into this monthly giveaway for a free computer. Kia Pia won a free computer and he then started scrutinizing her viewership and changing the rules of the giveaway and ultimately coming to the decision mm. that you don't get to get the, the computer and fist pump the air when he said that no one had clicked her affiliate link, which somehow disqualified her, which, by the way, is fraud. There's the re-roll. <laughs> but I digress. <laughs> re roll this. All right. Hasn't been paying his taxes, I guess. And uh, this this webpage, uh, Open Corporates, basically looks at corporations, companies that have been incorporated. So in the case of Artesian Builds, Artesian Future Technology, which is the name of this this company, that is a branch of another company in North Carolina, located in California, where where Noah is, I guess. Uh, they're doing business in the state of California, or were, and I guess he wasn't paying his taxes because mm. as of literally today, which is the this date, which is March 2nd, 3-2, 2022, the the franchise tax board, which is like the the IRS of of California, the, the tax collecting agency of California, suspended their business. So when you get a suspension or forfeiture, when your when your business has been forfeited in the state of California. You have to pay whatever it is that you owe to California to get it out of forfeiture, plus I would assume is a fee of what appears to be $800 on top of whatever it is that he owes in order to just be able to conduct business. And there, You know, the $800 fee, I would have thought it had been a lot more. There's a kicker to all of this. And this this is, uh, let me see if I can pull it up. Uh, this This is the California State website like the actual government website that goes into like what happens when your business is suspended. So, so if, if it's suspended, if your business is suspended, you cannot legally do business, sell, transfer, or exchange real property. Property also includes money file with an automatic extension, file a claim for refund, start or continue a protest Legally, wait, you can't start or continue. A, okay, 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 close or dissolve your business. So his business must still remain open, but he's unable to conduct business, which means every day that it exists, he still has to pay for whatever the business incurs for like at least state level expenses. There's the reward. <laughs> Oh, dude, dude, that should be an emo, dude. That, that that should be an emo, man. That's 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 good, dude. Bring an action or defend your business in court. So if anybody has a fraud claim that they would like to make against Noah right now for shitty practices and PC giveaways, go ahead and sue him because he can't do shit about it. There's the reward. <laughs> uh, file or maintain an appeal before the Office of Tax Appeals. Maintain the right to use your business name. He can't own his own business name anymore anyone as of today can go to the clerk's office in the county in which this this company was incorporated and literally create a company by the same name and own it you can own Damn. the name of his business right now There's the, <laughs> the secretary of state will deny your reviver request if the entity name is no longer available oh my god dude you know somebody's gonna steal his shit. People take names in Final Fantasy XIV just to be dicks. Oh, let's go, baby, let's go. There it is, right there, right there. There's a reroll. Hell yeah, dude, adding that shit to the channel. Hell yeah, let's go, dude. Re so if you were to go and incorporate a company in his name, his business's name, right now, he couldn't actually get his company out of forfeiture. He would be forced, according to the SOS, would require his business to be renamed in order for him to get his business out of forfeiture. So he would have to call his business something else.
and her <laughs> business may be subjected to a two thousand dollar penalty per tax year for failure to file your missing tax returns within sixty days after receiving a written demand to do so. This has been going on for over a year. He's been pending forfeiture since a year ago in 2021. There's the reward. Uh, right here. <laughs> it says 430 of 2021. Change of status from active to franchise tax board suspended and forfeited. Meanwhile, he buys a $150,000 supercar. He bought a BMW i8 instead of paying the taxes on the business revenue that he was earning. Plus, he probably also has fees here from people making fraud claims for uh, shoddy giveaway practices. So, so somebody go to the clerk's office and, and do this. Because, uh, I mean, I'm in New York. I can't just, like, huck it over to California. Somebody needs to go and register this company. Because, like, that would just be poetic at this point. Poetic. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> I love this. I love this so much. All right. So, so they're fucked. Uh, thanks for coming by. Uh, I, I can't wait to see how this develops further. This is amazing. Take that, you fist-pumping Star-Lord douche. There's the reward. Hell yeah. I love this. Oh. Yo, no, that was a good video. That was a good video.